I'm Adele Miran. I'm an outpatient sports and spine physiatrist at the University of Colorado. How did you choose physiatry? So I had a little bit of an unusual path into medicine. So I studied um, engineering in undergraduate. I played soccer also, and I knew I wanted to combine sports medicine, functional medicine. I kind of thought I wanted to like design knee braces and running shoes and sports equipment. Um, so I went into engineering thinking I was going to get to do all that stuff. And then it turns out the jobs you do in engineering, you don't actually interact with any of the patients that you're working with. So I realized pretty quickly I didn't want to be an engineer. And then fortunately found physiatry um, through a friend who was in medical school. And she said, hey, there's this field of medicine that is exactly what you want to do. It is like returning people to function and seeing athletes, it's working on people's ability to do the activities they love doing, um, which was what I thought I could do through engineering, but actually turns out physiatry was the perfect field. So I applied to medicine to go into physiatry and then nothing changed my mind throughout all of med school. What was a typical day was like for you? Uh, so my days are really varied and that was on purpose. I really like seeing a variety of different patient types. So my clinical settings, I have two different clinical settings that I work in. One is the spine center where I see mostly spine related conditions, cervical spine, thoracic and lumbar, um, which tends to overlap with shoulder and hip pain. So knowing all of that is really important. Um, and then at the uh, CU Sports Medicine and Performance Center in Boulder. So that's a more sports um, population. So I'll see there anything from ACL tear, ankle sprain, rotator cuff tear to you know chronic knee pain from osteoarthritis. So it's really nice to be able to see kind of both ends of the spectrum and be able to use my musculoskeletal knowledge to treat all different types of patients. And then another half day I'll do uh, fluoroscopic and guided procedures. All right, medicine in a new spot here. Essentially, we're blocking the nerves that supply the posterior half of the sacroiliac joint. So they come from the sacral foramen here. So we're trying to we're trying to hit them with anesthetic as they come out of the foramen. So we were dropping needles at the sacral ala, and as it, the nerve exits S1, S2, and S3, and those go on to supply the posterior half of the SI joint. Um, what do you wish more people knew about PMNR? Um, I wish people knew that we existed. <laughs> I wish people knew that we are experts in the musculoskeletal and neurologic exam. So I, I wish people knew that we are the ones that can see sideline injuries, can see orthopedic injuries, can see neurologic injuries, um, and that we're the experts in that. I think sometimes the other fields that are so well known to the general population, you know, people sprain their ankle, they think they have to go see an orthopedist, where really we are the, the non-operative right. experts in that. So I wish people know that we're the front line for a lot of these acute injuries. What other roles do you have um, besides, you know, um, a lot. <laughs> so um, I, I came to academics because I want to teach and I want to be a part of the education of future physiatrists. So I am the associate program director for our PMNR residency program here, which I love, and I love interacting with all the residents, teaching the residents, being a part of shaping the program. Uh, I'm the associate program director for our primary care sports medicine fellowship, which is a brand new um, track that we have within our primary care sports fellowship here. So I also recently took on the role of running the first year medical students MSK oh. course. So I'm the course director for that brand new course and it's been really fun. And one of my main goals was getting a physiatrist in front of them in their first year of medical school so people can really learn what PM&R is in their first year because I think a lot of people don't see it until third year or even later sometimes. What can a student uh, that is applying to the PM&R here at CU expect? Um, so I love bragging about our program, so I'm happy to talk about it. Um, I do residency here at CU and have never left, so I obviously am a big fan. Um, the things I love about our program are that we have this real depth and breadth of expertise. So we have absolute experts in every subspecialty of PMNR. So we have experts in brain injury, spinal cord injury, sports medicine, spine, um, amputee, and then obviously we have a really strong program in pediatric rehab and one of the founding programs in pediatric rehab. So um, a lot to brag about, but I just really love that you get real expertise in every aspect of PMNR so you can really find what you love or really hone in on what you love. Um, we also do a ton of procedures and we're really dedicated to teaching our residents procedures. So our residents get a ton of hands-on experience from day one as long as you know your anatomy. Uh, in my clinic, you're driving the needle, you know, learning your fluoroscopic landmarks, 
practicing ultrasound guided procedures and actually doing the procedures yourself. So um, we really pride ourselves on that when our residents graduate, they're absolutely competent in ultrasound guided procedures and most are competent in um, lumbar fluoroscopically guided procedures. And then also, our residents are amazing. We love them. Um, I'd be remiss if I didn't point out we have a new national championship with the Nuggets and a recent national championship with the Avalanche, so we also have fun sports to watch. Sweet. Thank you.